Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some really fun eyeshadow palettes that are perfect for the summer. So if you wanna see what my picks are, then just keep watching. These are some of my favorite kind of videos to film because it really allows me to go dig into my collection and also to pull out palettes that maybe I haven't used recently that I feel inspired to use based on this time of year. It is very hot now, the sun is out, so a lot of the colors that I picked are very bright, fun, exciting, they just make me feel happy, but I also threw in a couple more warm bronzy palettes as well, and I just feel like all of these fit perfectly into the summer months, and I hope this video inspires you to pull out some of these palettes because I made an effort to have a real variety as far as price points and whether they are new and old. So I featured some new palettes in this video, but I also picked out a lot of palettes that are old that you might already have that you haven't used in a while. So let's get going. We're gonna start off with an older one. So the first one that we have is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This came out, I wanna say about three years ago. This was the first naked palette to come out in a while after their original. And the one downside to this palette is I feel like every look that you get in this palette looks the same, but I really love this palette in the summer. I love a deep, warm, smoky eye, and this is the palette I go to. Like I said, you don't get a lot of variety in your looks, but you know this one is going to be banging for the summer. I think the quality in here is very nice. I don't really pick up Urban Decay and Naked Shadows too much anymore, but this is one that I do pull out a lot in the summertime because it just reminds me of summer when I was first getting into really purchasing makeup because I started making my own money. This was one of the first palettes that I purchased also and it holds a special place in my heart. I have since, you know, gotten rid of most of my original Naked palettes, but this one I don't want to get rid of. I really enjoy it and even though I'm a cooler kind of gal, I still love this warm tone palette. So if you have this, bring it out for summer. You know it needs some love. The next palette is also an older one. I happened to notice that it was on sale, but if you're into brighter colors, this is a nice one to look into. It's on sale for like $30 I believe I saw on Beautylish. This is the ABH Riviera. This palette definitely did not get a lot of love when it came out and I will be the first person to admit I have not used this very much but the quality in here is fantastic and as I was looking through my collection this is definitely one of the palettes that I want to use this summer because we have so many fun shades in here. I mean this was a summer release and I think you know a lot of people are turned off by how bright it is, how we don't need it. I personally feel like I'm at home. I'm more experimental with my makeup. I'm trying to lift my mood. I like wearing brighter colors now I've noticed. Obviously I'm not wearing it today of course but this is a palette I definitely want to pull out more this summer. The color names are of beaches and summer and I really think that this would be a fun one to pull out if you already have it or if you're looking for a new inspiring palette that has very beautiful fun colors but you can still kind of work it into a neutral eye look. I really think this one is a great one. I'm going to make an effort to use this one this summer because it's Perfect. This particular palette has been on my mind to feature in this video specifically. This almost inspired me to create this video because it's the perfect summer palette. This is the Vizzy Art Shushu palette and I just think of summer. You have some flamingo pink colors in here. You have some oranges as well. This is such a fun palette for this time of year. I really love it. I have a whole review and a couple tutorials using this palette if you are interested in seeing it for some inspiration. First of all, if you're looking into trying the Vizzy Art formula or just digging into Vizzy Art as well. This is a great, more affordable way to try their colors. And for this time of year, this is the perfect way for you to experiment with these kinds of colors. Put on some neon orange eyeliner, put some pink all over your eyelid, this for me is not only inspiring, but it's also not intimidating. So even though it looks bright, you can play with these warmer tones up here to make it less intimidating, but you can also really experiment with this one. So I enjoy Shushu a lot. I highly recommend it for this time of year. It's the perfect time to purchase this palette if you were looking into it. The next one that we have is a newer palette for me, but ever since I use it, I just think it's a beautiful summer palette. It's quite wearable, very warm. This is from Odin's Eye. This is the Freeha. Diva palette. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but Odin's Eye is a new brand that just recently came on my radar. I really enjoyed their products a lot, and I actually will have a video tomorrow featuring another one of their palettes, but this one I love because it is so warm for the summer, but it's also very neutral and wearable as well. I'll post a picture of one of the looks that I created that just put me in a better mood. It made me feel summery. I wore it with a nice summer outfit, and I enjoy this a lot. I really like the shimmers in this palette. I 
feel like they're very, very creamy. The one thing I will say is this palette does pull a lot warmer than it looks, but it really is a stunning palette, and I think it's an easy throw-on palette for the summer, so I wanted to introduce you to a new palette in this video, so this is a new one that is worth looking into. The next palette that we have, another new one, but I've talked about it a lot on my channel recently, so I don't want to go too into it, but if you are the kind of person who loves bronze tones for the summer, I mean, no better fit than the Natasha Denona bronze palette. And I love these palettes because, I mean, she's pricey. She is a pricey palette, but based on the palettes that she was doing before, this is half the product for half the price. And if you love bronzy tones, I mean, there isn't a shade in here that isn't bronze or a shade that's not going to complement a bronze look. The one negative to this palette, I will say, kind of similar to the Urban Decay, is potentially all your looks kind of look the same. I mean, this one has a little bit more variety than the Naked Heat palette, but I love the tones in here. It's a palette that I feel very comfortable with, and you know you're going to get a great quality palette every single shade in here I've not had trouble with and I have been thoroughly enjoying this palette over the last couple of weeks that I've had it. I highly recommend it and I do think this is a great summer into fall palette. So not only do these shades work for the summer, they also work for the fall. That being said, you can wear whatever colors you want all year round, but I do think it's fun to pull out palettes for certain seasons just to encourage me to use them more. Okay, I have an affordable option for you guys and I have talked about this palette in videos here and there because I really do like it and it does not get a lot of attention. I don't speak of Profusion on my channel too much, but I do actually really like their shadows from what I've tried. I refrain from purchasing all their palettes because they have a lot, but from what I've tried, I can tell that they have a good formula. And this is the Sun Kissed palette from Profusion. I believe it's on sale on their website, so I'll be sure to link that below. I purchased this from Walmart, and I particularly love this one for summer. I mean, it is a semi rainbow palette, but I feel like you get the perfect colors for summer in here. You have your more warm, neutral browns here, moving into golds to green tones to pink tones to blue tones just a really bomb palette for summer where you're getting a lot of options this palette is extremely affordable you get a lot of different textures and finishes here and overall I just want to use this palette a lot in the summer I bought this last year and I used it a lot last summer so I want to get some more use out of it this summer and I'm so happy to see that it is still available because it is a great palette for the price. You know, it's not Natasha Denona quality, but that's okay because it's so affordable. And if you've been looking for a way to incorporate some color into your collection without breaking the bank, I think this is a really fantastic way to do it. I mean, also look into their other amazing palettes, but this is the only one that I have from Profusion and I highly recommend it. I love the colors in here. Okay, so this next one is a another Natasha Denona palette and you can get it on sale for 50% off, I do believe. I'm sorry if you can't. If it is no longer available because because they did discontinue it or they were planning to. If you have it in your collection, I highly recommend that you pull it out. I want this type of video to not only be a video that makes you want to purchase things, but I also want it to be a video that encourages you to dig back into your collection. And remember when you purchased the Natasha Denona Tropic palette? For me, I think the reason why I always think of summer when I think of this palette is because I brought this with me to Hawaii and I used this palette nonstop and I loved it. And yes, not every color down here is amazing and that's the reason why people didn't really like it. But it still gives you the opportunity to play with fun colors that you may want to wear in the summer. But even if you don't, these top two rows are quite incredible and they give you the most gorgeous peachy look for summer. I really like this palette. I mean, I definitely is an unpopular opinion of mine. And if it were to be ranked, I would have to rank it lower just because of the quality. Not every shade in here is consistent. But if you can get it for 50% off, it's really great. And honestly, I do find myself reaching for this quite a lot compared to my other Natasha Denona palettes, which is crazy. But these top two rows, I'm so comfortable with these types of colors. And this bottom row, I mean, I still think they're fun colors and I can get them to work. This is a great palette for the summer. I really like it, I have to admit. All right, so this next one is a newer one that I have recently tried. This is from BH Cosmetics and this is the Mimosa palette. Now I have told you guys, I don't think the quality on this is the greatest. BH Cosmetics has a lot of other great summer palettes, but as soon as I opened this palette, I knew it would be perfect 
for this summer. Now for me, this isn't a color story that I'm going to use a lot. And I do think there was some things in the formula here that weren't at their greatest. I find typically that the shimmers from BH Cosmetics do tend to be a little bit higher quality in other palettes. And I didn't like that all of the mattes kind of looked the same here. But in the grand scheme of things, this is a very affordable palette. It's $16 at most. And most of the time you can get it on sale. I just felt like a lot of the shades kind of looked the same on the eye. But overall, the vibe that you're getting from this is summer. And I do think this is an awesome palette to have for summer if you like those really pink, orange, bright looks. And that is a look for summer. And that is why this palette is featured because it's an affordable way to get those colors. And it's not a bad palette. I just think it could be improved. But for the most part, if you like this color story and these are colors that inspire you for the summer, I think this is a really nice, affordable palette. I love the whole packaging, the theme of this palette, and the gorgeous colors that you get inside. The next palette that I have to share with you guys, there is an obvious reason that I put it as a new and exciting summer palette. And this is the ColourPop Uh -huh Honey palette. And I mean, summer, sun, a full yellow palette. I don't have a lot of yellow shades in my palette, let alone yellow palettes. So this is one of the few all yellow palettes that I own. They did a really good job with this one. I really feel like the colors that they chose just work well and they even look better on the eyes. I love the defining shade in here that it's a little bit more brown but it's still mustardy. I don't know if you guys have seen but a trend going around is those monochromatic crazy colored eyes for summer and this is how you get that all yellow eye. It's really fun. I need to do a look using this so that I can really get that summer vibe eye but I feel like this is a perfect palette to do it and of course, it's ColourPop. It's very affordable and they have a great quality shadow. So if you don't have this palette, this is a good one to maybe kind of consider. And if you do have it, this is the time of year that you may want to pull it out. Okay, so this next one, we're going luxe here. This is the new Dior Color Games Eyeshadow Quint in Sprint. I've been loving this. If you're more of a neutral wear, looking to incorporate maybe some summer tones into your look, I highly recommend this. Of course, it is pricey, but I've talked about it in a lot of previous videos just because I've been enjoying it. This is from their summer collection that came out about a month or two ago so I, this will be limited edition. I love this because it's muted summer tones so you can play with these colors out here and can get a pretty bronze slightly peach eye. You can incorporate some pink. I just think if you're a neutral wearer but you're looking to step outside of your comfort zone while still being comfortable this is a great quint to go for. Very soft, very subtle but you also are playing with this time of year. It's really gorgeous. Highly recommend. Okay, so the last three palettes that I have are indie brands. Kaleidos has a lot of great summer palettes, I felt like, and their newest one, of course, is great for summer, but this one just made me think of the Ocean Water, and I think it's one of their most gorgeous palettes. This is the Futurism Electro Turquoise palette. I love the quality in here. You have a fun neon orange for a pop of color, but you also have some gorgeous turquoise colors. This blue right here is one of the most gorgeous blues ever. Their new palette's getting a lot of love as it is deserved. It is perfect. It's a great palette but I do want to bring some attention to this baby because this one also makes me think of the beach and it is a gorgeous palette with gorgeous colors and if you are daring and you like bright eyeshadows highly recommend this one. And then I have two eyeshadow palettes from the same brand. It is a Miami based company. This is Alomar Cosmetics. I love their stuff and I can't wait for them to come out with a new eyeshadow palette. I really think these just look Look at this. How perfect is this for summer? Now this is their original, what is it? The Reina del Caribe Volume 1 palette. This one fits summer more, but the Volume 2 also pairs well with it. This one has a little bit more deeper tones, I would say, compared to Volume 1. But both of these together, I almost want to count as one because you can really dip into both palettes to create one cohesive look. Really great colorful options for the summer. And I am very excited to pull these out some more because they are really great quality. You're supporting a woman-owned company, uh, independent brand, and Gabby, the owner, she works very, very hard. And I love the colors and quality in here. I mean, just when you open up the palette, you feel like you're on the beach. So I love these palettes and I definitely want to use these more this summer. That is all I have for today's video. I want to know some palettes that you are excited to pull out this summer. Did I encourage you to pull out some older ones? I hope that I did because that was the point of this video. If you aren't subscribed, to my channel already. I would really appreciate it if you would take the time to do so. It would truly mean the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.